So uh, today's session we're going to look at stock manager, stock demo, and product, which is actually organizing products held on stock. As you can see, there are three classes: product, which is a model design class, and stock manager, which is actually holding a list of products. And then there's a third class here, stock demo, which is actually utilizing these classes in order to make it more easy to do a demonstration on the program. So uh, what we do first here is that we will uh, go down to product and look what is inside product. Now product is a pretty simple class. Name is product. There are three data fields here. ID, name and quantity. ID is probably a unique identifier. And we can see there's the classic constructor using the this operator. And there's a get ID method and a get name. And the last one is probably get quantity. And then there's a little method called to string, which is normally just returning some data of each product. Let's close that down. Look at the next one. Stock manager, to no surprise for you, you can see there is a stock, which is an array list, is parameterized to hold products. We can see that the constructor goes in and what we call initializes this one to be an array list. But at the moment, there are no stocks inside. There are a few methods, like adding a stock. And then if you look further down, you will scroll down a little bit. You can see there are some pretty empty methods, which we're going to fill out today. Print product details. Seems like there should be some kind of printout of all data. And that is the method we will take first in a moment. But before proceeding with this, we go to stock demo. Stock demo, we just create a new stock demo. Now, this is not a class that actually belongs to a, a domain model or a design class. This is actually more like a helper or test class that creates a lot of things for us in advance. So if you go here, and try to inspect stock demo. You can see it has created inside a private stock manager. If you then go in and try to inspect the stock manager here, you will see that inside the stock manager there is this array list. Then we could go in and inspect the array list stock. And we see easily that there are actually three products sort here because the number is free. Let's go in and look a little bit at the details here. If we look at the details, we will see that the array length, length here is actually started to be that it can maximum hold 10 objects. And we can see already now that there are three objects inside the array list. We go ahead and inspect the first one, which is a product called clock radio, as an identifier 132, and there are none of it at the moment at the start, because the quantity of it is zero. We can inspect the next one, same way, here. And we can inspect the next one here. Okay. I think that will... Let's go to the stock manager here. And I think we stop the recording for a moment.